everyone, welcome back to another part of the Hunver Baby Challenge. I am so excited. Look at how gorgeous this girl is. This is Bluebell. Look at how gorgeous she is. I love her. She's so pretty. I literally can't get over it. I need like a screenshot of like just how gorgeous she is. Like let me just like look at her face. She is gorgeous. I I don't even know, man. I can't even deal with it. She's oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just having a moment about how gorgeous she is. So she's just going out to play some basketball, which is cool because we've never really watched anyone play basketball. I feel like the entire time we'd always just cancel the interactions when they try to play volleyball. I said volleyball. Basketball. I actually used to play basketball. I think I've talked about that before. Looks like she's not the best at it, but she's, she's trying, man. Did she just give up <laughs> she she threw one ball missed and gave up <laughs> that's my girl <laughs> that is so adorable is it and only sleeping why is my game so slow that's really weird or not slow but glitchy it's being a little weird so i guess she's going to sleep which is fine by me and she is just spending some time on the computer we should literally be having children any moment now I still can't get over how cute she is, and I love her outfit. It's like basically everything's match, max this match except her hair, and I kind of love it. I feel like I'd be okay with getting all of my um, alpha clothes out of my game, or most of them, and keeping all my maxis match ones. Okay, and for school, she does need to get one skill to level three, and I don't know what that will be for her. Let's see with this hmm I feel like would definitely be the mischievous skill which we were trying to do with um blaze but then we just kind of didn't have time to be honest she is so pretty I definitely want her to meet friends at school so hopefully she can find a cute guy because she deserves a cute guy I'm just going to speed f until she gets her homework done, and then maybe we'll find some random people on the street to be mean to. Or mischievous to, I guess. Not necessarily mean. Do, do, do. She should probably go to sleep, though. But if there was anyone out here. Oh, look at that. There's Frankie King. And don't, f don't fret, guys. I totally remembered the baby. Um... <laughs> I got con I got distracted because I saw Liam. I totally remember the baby's father this time. It's Malcolm. And speaking of Malcolm, I'll probably um, hang out with him in a little in this part too because Annalie is so into him. But actually, um, Harry's been asking her on dates quite a bit, which means that he's definitely into her again, and I think that's awesome because I feel like he'd be so good for her, man. Like he just really would. Hmm. Wow, I have not had lag like this. That's weird. Okay. We're just going to let her go to sleep, I think. And then, basically, when we get up because of the baby coming, we can be mischievous to our mother to get our skill up. I mean, we definitely won't level up for another day or two days of school, so we have time. She's so cute. Oh my god. I am. I, this is probably the favorite sim I've ever made. She was so gorgeous. Like, when I went in there and I put on her eyebrows because there's a certain pair of. Okay, what? There's a certain pair of alpha eyebrows I love, which she's wearing. And most of my sims wear. I just love the way they look on them. And then I put on the blonde hair with the dark eyebrows. I'm like, that is so a look that I need to give my sim. And I did. Like, I love those eyebrows. They probably look better in cast because I think my game's rendering's a little bit down right now. Yeah, they're kind of kind of blurry. But they're super nice eyebrows. They still look really good, honestly. I don't think it'll be too long before I go uh, completely max this match except for hair. I feel like there's definitely certain hairstyles that I'll keep. 
because I just love the hair. And it, honestly, if they're wearing all Maxis Match clothes besides the hair, they look great. So I don't feel like it really affects my game at all. I am sorry about the glitchiness, guys, but I have been running my computer for a little bit, and that might be what's wrong, but it's fine. Uh, we can ignore it. Is she in labor, or does she just have to pee? She just has to pee. She does not. She should not be wearing that sleepwear when she's pregnant. <laughs> she just looks kind of ridiculous, honestly. Guys, my back hurts so bad. I don't know what I've been doing. I think it's because I'm, like, at the computer and, like, just the way my chair is. Like, I have... I put my feet up on my desk because there's a lower shelf. And I think that makes me sit re weird. And it fucks up my back. And it's just very unpleasant. You can go back to sleep for a little bit, darling. Or not. You could just stand there, too, for... 10 minutes. That's a normal thing to do. Look how darn she is. I know that there's no way she's having more than one baby because when we conceived the child, we had um, seven sims in the house. But she definitely looks like she could be having triplets, and I wish she was. I really was going to just um, cheat and give her triplets, but that wasn't working out for me. So I didn't. So sadly, we'll probably be having only one kid. And I kind of hope it's a girl because I really don't know any another bee name for a boy. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Alright, and she's literally about to pee herself again. Darling, wake up. I don't know why they still sleep when they have full, like, not tired thing. That's weird to me. Oh, and um, Andrew actually has moved in with, um, wow, Jade, good job, she has, m he has moved in with Amber, I was right, I was gonna get the name right, so, Andrew actually moved in with Amber, which I think is kind of weird, but it's true, she went some hot tub woohoo, oh, darling, I feel for you, does she go to school today, yes, well, she's taking good care of herself, and then when she's done eating, we'll just have her do some stuff for fun. So that she's not incredibly bored while at school. <laughs> Alright. Can you just have this child? What I would like to do is we need to start working on another guy. Because we don't have one lined up for afterwards. But I know she's literally about to have this kid. But I'm going to just send down Lothario flirty text, I guess. Which sucks, because I never really wanted to give it down, if I'm going to be honest. But, oh well. <sighs> Let me see if we can get anything interesting at the reward store. What's depressing is we have the fertile trait, but, like, it doesn't do anything for us, really. It hasn't... I mean, we've had a lot of twins. But still, oh, we could get... Do we not have the fertile trait? I swear we had it. What happened? Oh. Because I'm in a new game. I'll fix that, you guys. I'll just, um. There's a cheat you can use for those points. And I'll use that to get it up. Because she should already have it. And then she can get the beguiling trait with what she has now. So, as of right now, I'm just going to get the beguiling trait, I guess. And then, in the next... She's gone to labor, finally. In the next part, um, she'll have the fertile trait as well. I'm glad I realized that. And then, I guess, next time we get, like, great kisser or something. I don't really know what that one does. I'm going to be honest. I don't know why it's here. Okay, um... Why don't you clean up the spoiled food from your inventory? I don't know why you have spoiled food in there. And then have baby at the hospital so we can get a free bassinet. And we'll send her alone. <laughs> Although I feel like, no, you're, I don't feel like Malcolm would join her. I'm being honest. So, Bluebell, my darling. Ah, don't do this to me now, game. It's been having these weird moments. Where it does what it did before to me, but not as bad. And it just scares me every single time. Alright. 
Are you gonna go to school? Uh, you're not going to go to school? What are you trying to tell me here, darling? She should be going to school. What the heck? What is going on? Maybe she just didn't want to go to school today. Which isn't good for us, actually, because she's not leveling up her skills, which she should be doing. Darling, get off the computer. Stop doing this to me. Emily, would you go have your child? Okay, good. She's going to school now. It was just having a little moment. Oh, she's so gorgeous in her outfit. I mean, she's prettier when she's not pregnant, but she's still gorgeous. I mean, like, the outfit obviously doesn't go for a pregnant woman. It's kind of her, I'm going to get men outfit. Oh, she's so pretty. She makes me so happy every time I see her. <laughs> oh, it's so weird to not have any sim at the house. Can I, like, fast forward? Oh, wait, is she already home? What are you doing here? Did you have your child? What just happened? What do you mean, new baby? I didn't get to name a child. What just happened? What the heck? Where's my... Where's my baby? Annalie, what did you just do? Where is... I don't have the child. What do you mean, new baby? What? What do you mean? Um, I'm going to, I guess, restart my game without saving it, and I'll catch up to you guys in a moment. I'm so upset. All right, I'll see you in a second. All guys. right, everyone, I am back. So, there was a weird glitch, and for some reason, probably because of whatever happened before, she just didn't have kids. So, I just went in and gave her two little toddler girls, so... They were a gift from God, and that also means that we're going to try for babies with Malcolm again, because um, I do want to have kids with him, and these babies are basically gifts, gifts from God for messing with us. <laughs> but right now, she is talking to lovely little Blossom here. Look how cute she is. And here is Bella. And she's playing with the dollhouse. Oh, that's so cute. I haven't seen anyone play with this yet. Oh, she's like so interested. So I did random traits. Like I did them without looking. And um, what's her name again? Bella is silly. And Blossom is inquisitive. So, like, she'll be interested in trying different things. Apparently, Annalie decided she didn't want to touch her child. <laughs> so, she just... That's alright. Annalie, what are you doing? Okay, she's just talking to her little boy. boy. Why don't we join playing with dolls? I'd like to see what that looks like. And what do we have here? We have Proud from me and your toddler. It looks like that little bundle of joy. All hopes for the future lie within them and the future looks bright. And then we also have a pleasant conversation and feeling great. Oh, she's in her hospital gown <laughs> playing with her daughter. That's so cute. Oh. Darling, what are you doing? You can't be mean when you're playing with your daughter. Why don't we teach her to talk a little bit? That could be cute. And then, um, maybe when our daughter gets home, oh gosh, I was going to have her make friends. I forgot to do that because of all of the interesting things that were going on. Um, so we'll just have her do that. And you, I want to see what it's like when you teach them to do things. And what do you do with the potty train? So I do have to potty train. That's good to know. And you also have to teach to walk. 
So just like in The Sims 3, I figure once they are potty trained, can walk, and talk, we can age them up. Um, I'm not really sure how that goes yet, because I haven't done any of it. But we're going to try some, I guess. Darling, how come you're not doing anything I ask you to do? Okay, I'm going to move the potty chair to a place with more room if I can. Okay. Hello? Alright, that, oh, there was just a wall there. Alright, because I think we could just sell this painting and this lamp. And now, maybe I can potty train. I don't know if it's like because it's against a wall that I can't, but we're going to try it. Because I kind of want to see what that looks like too. I'm so, I'm excited, but I'm also kind of upset because of like the problems that my game has been having. It's kind of annoying. Um, hopefully those will resolve themselves. See, now it's... I'm just gonna give it a minute. There we go. It just needed a minute, that's all. So we're gonna potty train Bella, if she will let me. So, why does she keep just saying talk? I don't want you to talk to her. I want you to teach her to walk, or talk, or something. Teach her to actually do something. Um... Oh, okay, she's doing it now. Thank you, darling. Glad you're doing what I asked. <laughs> so she's acquired the potty skill. Potty toilet training makes dirty diapers a thing of the past. Teaches to... So I'm thinking the skill goes up to level 5. I kind of got that that's the feeling that's that what it was. Oh, doll has fun. Making up stories for little people is always a good time. That is true. Um, I don't know. I think we'll, it's at, I think we'll go to level three, possibly. I'll kind of see what other people are doing or if they updated the rules for that. Because level five is a lot. So I think, like, level three and everything would be good. And they kind of teach themselves. So, Blossoms acquired the thinking skill. It helps toddlers throw fewer tantrums and be more capable of taking care of themselves. It reduces defiance and helps to solve needs. Thinking skills improve by being curious or playing with... So, thinking skills is one of the most important skills, I'm thinking, because they're not throwing tantrums. And she wants to go play in the toilet. So, I'm going to let her do that. How long is she going to... Okay. She's just taking her time. It does actually take toddlers a really long time to go to the bathroom, because they'll just sit there playing or, like, talking to themselves or whatever it is that they do. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, darling. <laughs> oh, darling. She's happy, though. Bella's met Luna. No, you haven't. Oh, that's a different Luna. Okay, I was like, no, you haven't? Um... We could play with a toy, because I think our sister's still hogging up the potty. Play with toy. And I know that there's different toys, and some of them actually do things. Um, let's have her play with the butterfly. Oh, what's she doing? Is she peeing herself? Oh, cool. And it looks like Blossom went potty, which is good. What are you doing, darling? No, I want you to teach her to talk a little bit. Teach to talk. Lucas, they're not teenagers. Although we could totally age up Lucas. So we're going to teach her to talk. I'm wondering if she'll sit down to do that. I don't know. <laughs> she just, oh, I thought she just moved on. No, she's playing with her little butterfly out here. She's getting in some sort of skill. Okay, yeah, she will sit down to do that. She was just taking a moment to herself. Mm, so adorable. <laughs> she makes me want to cry. <laughs> oh, they're so tiny. No, you can't. You cannot invite over Luna. 
um, wait, I did buy a little toddler tablet. I threw it in here. So, work with me, darling. So, I'm going to put it on the floor over here. And then, uh, let's have Blossom come over here and play Bill Block Baby, which will help with her walking skill, which will be good. Let's see Bluebell for a moment. She has no idea that her mother had twins or anything like that. No, darling, I want you actually to come over to this person and start working on your mischievous skill. No, God, that is such a hard skill. <sighs> it's such a hard skill to get, though. Maybe we should do a different one. And she can just work on that by herself when she moves out. Um, we do have our guitar. I mean, she's not really musically inclined, but maybe she is. We don't know. So we have a guitar over here, and we can go ahead and have her practice that. And she can just work on that. So she's confident because of um, living near good schools, which is cool. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, someone's having tamper tantrum. What's wrong, darling? Frustrated with words. That was me when I was a kid. I got so frustrated with words so often. It's all right, darling. Why don't you stack? You can do that, sweetheart. <laughs> what she want to do? Yell at her mother? Oh, ask her for a drink. So can I see their, like, okay. I figured I could, but Donna, what are you doing? She's like, I need to blow off some steam. <laughs> well, why don't you go for a little dip in the pool? And then we can invite over Malcolm for some time, good time. And your daughter can take care of your children like she always has to. Oh, and she met a hot older doctor while delivering her baby, so I'm thinking that we'll actually have our next children with him. Of course you want to talk to yourself. Okay. Um, she is not playing with the guitar. So I'm just going to put it in her inventory because I bet she can't reach it. If I can. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I bet she just couldn't reach it. So, come over here and practice, darling. I know you have school and other things to do, too. So, I'd like for you to get that some of that out of the way. And it looks like Blossom is almost getting a skill level from her little tablet. Her walking skill, I think. And she's just playing a little memory game that's super cute. Annalise just chilling by the pool, still swimming some laps. I told you you could stop. You don't have to continue to swim laps. Ooh, she got the guitar skill. Good job, darling. So let's invite over our boo and try for a baby, since that is what you want to do. And while you wait for him, you can totally talk to self. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, and I still have to do... I don't know if I found out in this part. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I still have to do this thing. So, I don't know. I don't think we'll get triplets or anything like that. But I'm, I don't know if I'd want that. I don't know if I could handle that. Why don't you go here so you can be there when he gets here. And we have another child throwing a tantrum. Because she's hungry. Oh, darling, when did you get so gosh darn hungry? Okay. Um, we're going to first invite him inside. Then... You're in a sexy pose. You know what? Annalie is not the type to be used to having kids like this. So she's not the type to be used to having to take care of her children, basically. Blossom can now climb stairs. She can also play wrestle with an adult. That is, oh, Darling, I do want to, but I just invited over someone. Can you, like, wait a moment? 
No, would you? Okay, you know what? Fine, you can feed your daughter. Or not. She decided not to. She changed her mind. What did I just ask him? I'm going to invite him to stay the night. Although, he's probably not going to want to when he realizes we have kids. <laughs> and we do have a high chair in the kitchen. I don't know if we can, like, um, feed them on the floor like we could last time or what is up with that. I'm going to... The child can starve. It's okay. <laughs> Alright, so now that he's sleeping over, actually, I am going to feed our child. Aw, oh, yay! Bella acquired the thinking skill which is good um actually wait it would be in toddler care give food okay you can stop talking to him and go take care of your child he won't leave us how are you doing love having a good time you can stop soon um let's see i feel like it's just a lot of jumping around She's playful, which is cute. Um, tell a joke about chicken butt to Annalie. Um, silly trait. That's adorable. And she is actually kind of getting hungry, but we're going to go ahead and let her watch some toddler videos. She can gain some speaking skill, and her mother will feed her after she enjoys some fun time. Are you going to feed your daughter? Oh, so they have to go in the high chair to be fed. That's interesting to learn. I hope we don't also have to let them out because that is the most annoying thing ever. So, Blossom currently can go up and down the stairs, which will be convenient. Uh, I still actually have to get toddler beds too. I should probably do that. I'll do that once I get them a woohoo in. She's going to leave her daughter in, her ch in the chair while she goes. <laughs> oh boy. Oh well. Give her the food, darling. Boy! Boy! Give your daughter the food! Give food! Oh, you jerk. Ham and cheese sandwich it is. She's just like, um, I'm just gonna uh, eat it for myself, I guess. Guitar level two, good for you. What are you doing? Don't put her down. Give her food. She's hungry. You're a horrible mother. We've always known this, but seriously? Your child's freaking starving, and the best you can do is that. I'm trying to feed her. But Annalie is too stupid to feed her. Oh boy, I can tell that, um... Others is going to be a difficult thing. <laughs> Pretty darn fast. Okay, I'm going to go get another chair and feed our other child. And then maybe we can get some wooing. Oh boy, toddlers is going to make this challenge like ten times harder too. But I still love them and they're still adorable. Okay, let's get another high chair. Uh, let's go upstairs and in this room. This can be the toddler's room. Although one of them currently can't walk up the stairs. So I might make it um, so that she can. Like I might have her work on her walking skill. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen yet. So let's just get rid of all these things that we really don't need. Including, oh, that's the, okay. I didn't know if that, what that was a part of. So let's go and get a toddler bed. Do we have a better energy bed? They're just energy ones. Okay. Um, we can go with the S band. Oh no. There's a door there. Good job, Jade. Ah! Okay. What? Why can't I put a tiny ass bed there? Um. 
this door is there another way to get to the patio yeah okay so i'm getting rid of this door then because we don't need it and it's just literally in the way so we're just gonna get two of those and that can be our toddler's bed should we put them against the wall i think we should i don't know that just kind of makes sense to me for some reason we'll give them a little separation and I don't think a teenager is going to want to sleep in there, but we'll, we'll have... <laughs> that's too bad for them. Okay. And now, go to your other child before she starves to death. Can I just click on this and give food to Bella? Give peanut butter and jelly sandwich to Bella. Is she just throwing food around? Uh, of course you are. Are you going to go get Bella? Oh, okay. I see. Because that. What do you want? Darling, <laughs> I'm so sorry. She's tired and hungry. Is that say hangry? Oh, that's so true. Hangry is so true. I have a little cousin. I'm going to tell you right now. Hangry is 100% a thing. Come on, come get your daughter. Okay, good. Like, why are you trying to eat the applesauce? It's not even for you. And I'm guessing she's getting tired too. She is. So, Annalie, after she takes care of that child, and, well, she's still sleeping though. I mean, eating. Can you go get your stupid child? Jeez, Annalie. It's like not even the kids. It's Annalie who's annoying me because she's just not doing anything. All right, yes. Go feed your child. Oh, boy. Come on, game. Okay. Uh, ma, 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 ma. All right, so they're both eating. She's actually finished, so I'm going to go ahead and have her put to bed. And by then, she'll be ready to be put to bed. And then, we can get a little action going on. And I'm actually going to end this part here. And when I pick up, it'll probably be morning, and we'll try for baby. And she'll be pregnant, hopefully. And <laughs> so this part has been a little stressful, obviously. But... It's really, it's really exciting. It's going to be really weird having toddlers. It's going to make the 100 baby challenge so, so much harder. But, oh well, I guess. Alright, I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really, honestly, makes me happy every time I see, like, a, more likes than I usually get. Or comment. Comments make me so happy because... Honestly, people don't comment very often yet. And I want to hear guys' opinion. I know there's, like, not a heck of a lot of opinion you can do with this. Well, there obviously is some. But, I don't know. <laughs> I'm rambling. Alright, I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!